Additionally, European tourists prefer to visit Swakopmund in August and September, while domestic ones normally flock to the coastal town in December. There is nothing like that this year, with the COVID-19 travel restrictions having affected the industry. No tourist has been coming this side. Um, I mean, the last couple of days I see, I've saw some positive signs of um, car rentals, tourists driving a few cars around the town, and which is a positive relief. Usually, you see people walking around here, um, cafe andon, coffee, things like that you can actually see. But at the moment, currently not, although the borders and the airports are open. Uh, we have seen some planes landing. There's some companies that is lucky, although uh, the tours were booked last year and it uh, hasn't cancelled. The Swakopmund Museum has been a crowd puller for tourists interested in learning about plants, animals, minerals, culture and the history of Namibia. We had very few visitors since March. It's down to nothing, nothing, nothing. And uh, we had hope that it would recover, but no, it's still very deep. You can see no visitors at all. It's not a different narrative at other businesses, like fat bike tours, where activities have iced up. From February month this year, uh, nothing has been moving until now. So it has been a downhill, like no movement. The hope now is on domestic visitors to revive the industry, with some establishments offering incentives. Well, everybody is um, invited, even for half price, and for people can families can come with the same ticket again during the month and visit the museum for two or three times without paying extra. Uh, I think we learned a lot from COVID-19 pandemic, but it, now we need to enhance our local people to travel. Swakopmund is a beautiful destination for the rest of Namibia. And we invite uh, all Namibians to come and see this beautiful uh, international tourism uh, resort. Data from the statistics agency shows that 96% of the businesses were adversely affected by COVID-19, and this is expected to continue in the coming months. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Swakopmund.